Anyway, moving on, there's so much we could say, but in 1995, like a sum summarizing of the Schumacher-Levy 9 comet event, and also a continuation of the theme of sound and crop circle creation, this formation appeared in a, pl a place called uh, Litchfield. If you count the open ring, it had nine concentric rings. If you count the arcs, the semicircular arcs, there were 21 of them. There were 21 comet fragments of the Schumacher-Levy 9 comet. And the Jupiter was represented during the Schumacher-Levy 9 comet event in the fields. If you look, um, if you check out our website, cropcircleanswers.com, and go to the articles page, for example, you'll find many articles that we've written. One that Chris wrote called The Scorpius Hour, goes into great depth as to how this event on Jupiter was mirrored in the fields during 1994. In fact, it dominated almost the design symbolism of genuine formations during that summer. And Jupiter was represented by a large fat ring with circles of increasing size heading towards it. And as the sequence of events unfolded on Jupiter, so did the designs in England morph to reflect it. After the comet had whacked its way through Jupiter, the atmosphere of Jupiter, um, you know, it created major shock waves. Now, when plant samples were taken from this formation, sent to Dr. Levengood and analyzed, he found that not only did the plants inside the formation, but plants way outside of it invisible to the eye, under the microscope showed these, ra these internal heating effects, expanded cell pit diameters. So not just the nodes were expanded, but also the cells were, the holes in the cells were expanded, indicating that some form of high frequency energy had gone into them and caused this effect. Well, maybe this formation not only represented um, symbolized a massive planetary impact. Maybe it was also the effect of one, but on Earth. Chris went in that formation and collected some seeds from inside it, and we regrew them. And just like Dr. Levengood has said with other formations and other cases where, depending on what cycle, what stage the plants are at when they're hit by this energy, their growth rate can be increased or it can be um, arrested. Well, here we had an example of increased growth. I mean, really increased. Each single wheat stem we grew, several, we, we grew several stems, sprouted multiple stems and multiple heads of one stem. If we could work out the frequency that could duplicate this effect, just emitted to the, um, exposing the seeds, maybe we could produce more food in smaller fields and feed the world. But there it was from inside a crop circle formation.